this deer season, for, for this bow season, me and my dad are going to be shooting bows. Mine is a PSE Bow Madness. I'm shooting Bone Collector 350, 29 inch with 100 grain. Oh, Rocket 3, I guess 3 fan mechanical broadhead. Anyway, I've got, I don't honestly know what type of stabilizer I have on here or really any of the things on here because I bought it from somebody and he already had all of it set up. It's got a quiver. It's a single cam bow. I'm shooting a Scott Archery release. I've got a five pin sight. Yep. Oh, cut that off. Anyway, my dad is going to be shooting a Vortex Hunter. A Barnett Vortex Hunter. Um, I got this bow last year. I don't think it was in any videos. He's going to be shooting the Mossy Oak 429 inch arrows with a 100 grain Allen broadhead is about all I know. They're on. Um, Pretty cool. I'll get a close-up shot and put it in there. He's got the Joker, the Trophy Ridge Joker 4 side on here, the Trophy Ridge 4 uh, four arrow quiver. He's shooting a True Fire release. It's an older one. It's got. Let's see, let's get that back on. He's got um, dampeners on here, um, limb savers. And, an X Factor 6 ounce stabilizer. He's got a whisker biscuit too. He's shooting. And anyway, let's, I'll show y'all how we do when we're shooting.
I shot me a deer about. Let's check the time. My parents are coming right now. I think I hear them. It's 7.57 right now, almost 8 o'clock. I shot my deer around about 7 o'clock this morning. I just gotten in my stand. Had a couple technical difficulties. Not with the camera, but with the stand. When I got up there, anyway, I had to fix that. And when I did, I've been sitting there for about 20 minutes. And a little last year's yearlin walked out. She walked about 20 yards, and I busted her with my bow. And anyway, we're fixing the tracker when my parents get here. It's been about an hour, so... Maybe she's dead. I'll see y'all when we find blood. Alrighty guys, well my deer is right up there, but I wanted to show y'all this real quick. Maybe I'll find a little bit better. Can't see it. You see all them air little air bubbles? That means that I hit lung, and when you get that air from the lungs, oxygenated blood creates bubbles. Anyway guys, let's follow this blood trail and we'll get on up to her here in a minute. Some bubbles in there. Oh yeah. Anyway, guys, she came. I shot her right up, right up there in the field, and she came running through a briar thicket, through some planted pines. Came right up through here. Right through here. Go look at blood. We were home. We were looking for blood coming through here and I was standing here and I looked over and I'll show you all this right down here. She stumbled and hit a tree and I saw the blood and I'm like, hey, there's blood. And it comes out, she's right across the tree. Oh. Here's the spot where she bumped into it at. all the way up here. But there she is. Right up there. She probably last year's yearling. Blood in the creek too. I'm surprised she made it up the creek. I'm surprised she made it up the creek. Yeah, these summit harnesses, amazing. I'm telling you what, I'm not really for sure if this, this, the, this line's for carrying deer out, but as you can see, works like a charm every time. Even though it's the first time ever using it.